Alrighty, I thought I'd film a really quick update because, you know, work continues. So here is the corner bit that I didn't quite finish last time in the last update. So I have worked on a way to kind of create this sort of narrowing by do two studs. There was an option, which I haven't opted not to, to remove the tiles next to this building and just have the road continue there. But I decided that's not what I wanted. I preferred to continue the line. I just, I don't know, it feels very European to me. I think you see this in European cities a lot where like randomly some houses were sitting and a new big road was constructed so the road has to just go around. So I've just decided to go with this option. Um, I don't love that the wedges obviously have studs visible, but you know, it's not gonna be perfect. So <laughs> this is what it's gonna be, okay? This is just life. So then I've continued working on the park. So I've obviously, I think I showed this already, but I've millsified the first bit of the park. So it's um, higher up. I don't like that you can see, like obviously that this is now all on concrete. It's just not as pretty. I prefer this to be green. I may change it. I've not quite decided. This was just more a ballpark. I've obviously just put back on top of it, the park as it used to be, but just slightly amended because the dimensions are a bit different. I think I'm gonna redesign the whole park. So as you know, I'm gonna have various options of park to change for, and I, this is just, I think I'm gonna redo the park. So there's gonna be a new version of it for spring. At the moment, I've continued the fence all the way up here, but I was thinking it may be really nice to have a canal here because this is obviously gonna be like a brick high and these are also. So maybe just like here where I have a little canal, it may be really nice just to have a little bit of a canal running through here. I am contemplating that. That would mean that I have to amend this bit though and sort of the sides of that, but it could also be like in winter, like a place where they go ice skating. So it'd be quite cute. That is where I am right now. I just want to give you an update on this corner upgrade. And here is my um, work in progress tram. Just to figure out the, the width and the height of it, this tree will need to move in some capacity or another. We will do that some other time <laughs> um, when I mills and buy these buildings, but I am still putting that off because it's a lot of work and it's fragile and I don't want to do it because it's, it's dangerous, okay? It's another update time. This, it's all ready to be built on. It's uh, gray, which I don't want it to be. I want it to be uh, green, but I haven't gotten a green plates. I've millsified it. So the whole road, the park, and these buildings and our mills, as you can see, they are there. And I've got a little canal because I thought, you know what? They're canal houses. They should have a canal to sit in front of it. And I think it looks really nice. I don't think I'm going to give it a, like a railing. It doesn't have a railing in Amsterdam either. So if you fall in, so be it. Let's see if this works. Okay. <gasps> oh my God. The lights around the park work. There's light here. Okay, I'm really excited. That's that's amazing. I have just started adding lights to this modular that which it actually was working. And then I realized if it's lit up, you can see the interiors. So I have to work on the interiors. And if you remember, um, when I bought my first ever Marvel set, I actually added Thor's, Bro Thor's apartment into the townhouse. But because I'm going to be removing the townhouse from the city eventually, I think what I'm gonna do is um yeah take it out and put it in a new home and then possibly the second floor will just be boxes and like somebody moving and there we go much better nice little apartment obviously they're not really taking good care of it so naughty them but um it should be much nicer to look into it now um yeah pretty happy with it it's all done i've lit up the style taste class thing there and then I have a party going on this floor. It doesn't have a lot on the wall. Maybe I'll change that sometime, but there's like the party table and some nice figures. And then there is the apartment and also the blue light coming from the TV because I thought that was fun. So there we go. There you have it. First building lit and furnished. We're starting this sunny Friday morning well by um, sort of starting this mock slash uh, remock of what I'm making a proper Lego store. So it's based on a design um, who I will leave in the description. I can't remember who did it, but I've sort of built it in studio and I kind of like made it my own and changed colors. So things are a bit cheaper and stuff. And then also this is the top floor. There we go. So this will sit on the top. 
I'm making this a Lego store at the bottom floor, but then I'm gonna connect every all of the three floors to be like a further toy shop because I thought it'd be quite cool if like I have a place where I can have plushies and like cute accessories that I find. That is what I'm working on right now. Obviously this was designed with instructions and then I have mocked it to make it fit my own city. It's another evening and another random project. I realized I wouldn't be able to do a spring park because I haven't got the green plates at the moment. So great it is. So I decided why not work on my Chinese temple fair? mock so here is the mess i'm making good good and this is the state of it right now i like the temple there that was obviously the most easy thing to do i'm just trying to add sort of details i am going to keep the spring trees because i think they add life to the city and the dynamic and sort of like a 3d effect so i'm going to keep those and hold up there we go that's better I, I'm very undecided on pretty much everything else. Currently banging my head against the wall, not sure what I'm doing. Generic, normal stuff. To the park by daylight, I've added some more things, but I'm still really not happy with it though. There's, there's definitely gonna be a lot of stuff that I still wanna do about this, but it's tinkering along, so that's all right. As much as I wanna keep building and creating, I realized that I am making a terrible mistake by not sorting the bulk that I have and I need. Like I need to sort this, I've been putting it off for so long. And I think considering how much it there is, there's gonna be so much useful stuff in there. And I just really, really need to go through that. So I have laid this all out. I'm gonna close the blind in a minute because the sun is on it, but I don't like that. Um, and I'm gonna actually properly sort through the bulk. Um, probably not today because I'm going out to meet a friend, but tomorrow, and I've done this just so I'm like, no, Johanna, this is, this is your task. So yay, no building. But sorting weekend. It is looking quite a lot healthier. I only have one tub left. Yay! And yeah, the sorting's going pretty well. I've not only sorted Lego, I've also sorted books and clothes, and it's I just really needed it. I look like garbage, but it's been a it's been a good sorting day. There's lots there was lots that needed to be done. So I'ma continue this work. My back is absolutely aching, so I'm gonna have a tea, have a relax, and I'm gonna continue doing this. I'm, I'm happy with the result. Taking a break from all the sorting, I thought I will continue working on my bookshop remock. Um, again, I will try and leave the link below. And here are some of the bricks, and also I had some arrive in the post. So let's just do a bit of progress on this. I've made some adjustment to the original design that I was basing it on. Um, I'm gonna add some more flowers in front of the shop as well, because I thought that was nice. Um, this is very less finished, but it's getting there. More flowers are needed just right here. And then the interior, I need loads more like tiles, but I really, really like how big the pad wall is. Like, look at that, when you just come in, whoop, so many bricks and lots of things. I'm waiting for more bricks, um, like boxes, so I can have more of those, because I love them. I'm gonna add, oh, sorry, I nearly dropped it. I'm gonna add more to the wall there, and then it's gonna go up to the first level, and the first level is gonna have more toys. The bottom level is dedicated to Lego. Pretty happy with it, I think. It looks it looks pretty cool. I've continued working on this toy shop because I wanted to create some walls, so I actually had like a more sturdy structure. That is what I've been working on. Um, this is the toy aisle, so obviously Lego store is at the bottom. Then you go up, this is where the toys are. So like general toys. I'm gonna use like the friends animals, like these, as like plushies you can buy, because they're like really adorable and I thought they were perfect as plushies. And then the top floor is going to be like the adult um, section with collectible Lego sets, comics, posters, collectibles, like swords, just like game memorabilia, stuff like that. So I made it black because I felt like that was like a very obvious differentiator. I'm not gonna tile obviously both of these floors. And I have my first sticker because this seemed very appropriate. And then I'm gonna use some of my extra stickers that I have from sets either that I was sent by Lego because I ruined some stickers or that I bought um, off Bricklink as I'm just sort of browsing because when I buy off Bricklink, I always double check the seller's sticker tab to see what they have in stock because I thought sometimes, you know, they can make them in useful. Like, I think this may be really cool in the adult section as a collectible poster you can buy. Maybe that as well. Um, maybe like watch your step or something like, I don't know. There's like a lot of nice little nerd memorabilia things. And then also these are the extra sticker sheets you could have bought from me at Lego some time ago. I think they've retired now, but I think I'm going to be able to use these to um, like have some signs, not those, I think just a toy one. Have the signs in the actual children section. 
and then I thought this was a quite a cool possible like um, print. I don't know, there's quite a few cool things I could use as nerd memorabilia. So that is the plan. I've had way too much fun working on this adult collector toy level. Decided to go on turquoise flooring. I thought it was a nice contrast with the shelves and the walls. Lots of like stickers and tiles and things that I could find that I thought would look really cool on the shelves. I'm gonna create more shelves both here and there. Maybe a long one or maybe just individual ones. Um, because for example, I have like Lord of the Rings ring merch, a Harry Potter rare Lego sets. Um, and I've got like a poster aisle where like there's lots of extra stickers and prints that I have that people can buy. Um, some Jurassic World stuff. Oh, I've had to, it's so much fun. This was a joy to create. Then I have a toy shop floor as well. So here we go. This is the toys. That was a bit harder to create, but I think it's okay. There are some nice little toys here. And then this is going to be like a multi-level toy, toy thing. Some turtles and things that I still have that I want to put on here. I added this like printed like rug here because I realised I had it. I was like, why not? Put some stickers things here. I don't love the white wall, but it's the best I could do. Also, the red shelf, still not a huge fan of those. I may make them a different colour eventually, but at the time being, it's quite colourful. So at least there's that. And here's, ooh, here's some more aisles I'll create in a minute. Like this is more of the toy shop thing in the middle. I will have more stuff on here, um, possibly differently displayed than I have it here. But yeah, that is what I've created. As you can see, updates have happened. Obviously lots of bricks still missing, lots of work still to be done, but um, it's kind of cool to see it sort of like where it's going to be sitting. And then here is the skate park I decided to add back in. Obviously that's coming from the park areas. This is like my ideal setup for a city. Toy shop and collectible shop here for me to spend time in. Skate park right here to for Ben to spend time in. Perfect. And then the park is in this state. I've decided I'm going to be using this sort of like tiled, like this pattern, but like what like Diagonally has, but like with more colours and more light grey. And also I added batteries <laughs> for my test tram. It works currently. Let me show you. So that's been such an exciting update. I've really wanted to play with that train for so long. So I finally worked out how to do it. Um, it's obviously not a tram yet. I need to actually build the tram. I, it was just a test run to see how big it was going to be, how it's going to fit into the city and like if I even liked it. So I've done that and I'm like super thrilled about it. It's so much fun. Um, also just playing with something that moves on the controllers, just bringing out the inner child again. It's so much fun. So that is an ongoing project because I need a lot of bricks for that to actually become a tram. Um, the track is going to be extended. I need to tweak a tree. Um, I actually need a mill divider buildings that sit behind a tram because they look much lower now compared to what they should be because they're currently a whole brick lower than they should be compared to like where the track is. So the tram looks really big, even more so than it will be compared to the buildings. But it's going to look amazing. And yeah, I'm quite excited about working on the park. The park is actually properly modularized, so I can properly exchange it for different parks so that's very exciting i'm waiting on some 16 by 16 green plates so i can actually start working my spring park so i have like my picnic blankets and my long grass and all that kind of stuff so that will happen i just worked on this um chinese one for now just because you know like i had that stuff and i could actually work on it where the uh, rather than with the other one that I don't have the bricks for right now. So that is going to be the next park I'm updating on. I need a lot of one by one dark bluish grey tiles to finish on my roads and I need to actually buy the bullet and millsify my actual modulars because I am hugely putting that off because I am terrified. I hope you enjoy the update. There is just a lot happening and um, I like it a lot. I'm especially really enjoying my mock at the moment, like the toy shop. Um, can't wait to show you the finished product of that. It's gonna look so good. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe so you can come back for more updates on the city because updates always happening. Also, I have ordered some Harry Potter stuff. So there's going to be an enhanced Harry Potter mock coming and a Diagon Alley extension. I'm still waiting on a Lego order that's taking 200 years arrive. But once I have that, I will start working on my Diagon Alley extension by Scarlet Patronus, which is so exciting. So lots of Harry Potter content coming for once. I know I keep saying that, but I just keep having to wait for things to actually get to me in the post and it's taking a long time. But yeah, very excited. So I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Uh, au revoir, goodbye. Hello.
Alrighty, time to actually for once make a thumbnail so I don't have to do that in post-production, which is terrible.